Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your icons appear to be corrupted or not rendering properly on your Windows device. So if you're experiencing an icon problem where it doesn't look like there is any icon or you have like a default file format kind of icon and doesn't look right, this tutorial will show you guys how to reset that and hopefully resolve it without too much difficulty. So we're going to jump right into it and we are going to start by heading over to the start menu. So what we want to do is open up File Explorer. So most of you guys should have a File Explorer icon on your taskbar. If you don't have it down here you can always search up File Explorer in the start menu. So once you've opened that up what you want to do is head over to your C drive. So on Windows 10 I have to go through this PC which shouldn't be that much difficulty for you guys to figure out, but we're trying to get to our C drive or whatever your main drive label is. Mine is C. Most of you guys should be C as well. So whichever one is your main hard drive partition, you want to open that up. And then once you've done that, you want to go underneath users. Go underneath whichever user account you're experiencing this issue with. So again, double click on it. And then you want to go underneath app data. Now keep in mind, if you do not see an app data folder here, do not worry, there's a simple fix that we can do for that. And that would be to go up to the View tab at the top of this window. Left click on the Options button at the right side. This will open up our Folder Options settings. And then you want to go over to the View tab. And you want to have the Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives selected underneath Hidden Files and Folders. So again, if you do not see the App Data folder, you want to switch it from the Don't Show Hidden Files, Folders, or Drivers to the Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drivers setting. And then you want to click on Apply and OK. So once you've gone through that, you want to open up the App Data folder again. So double click on that. Then you want to go underneath Local. At the bottom of this list, depending on how long it is, there should be something that says iconcache.db. You want to right click on it and then left click on delete. Once that's gone, you can close out of this window. So I'm assuming for most of you guys, icons are still not right. So in order to refresh the page, all we have to do is just go to the taskbar at the bottom of our screen, right click on it, then left click on task manager. Go underneath details at the top, depending on what version of Windows you're running, it might look a little bit different, but we're trying to get to this view. So once you've had access to this view, you want to go to explore.exe and left click on it, and then left click on end task at the bottom of this window. You might say end process on Windows 7 and Windows 8, so just left click on this little button. We basically just want to kill this process for right now, so click on that. You're going to be prompted, are you sure you want to end the process? Click on End Process. Do not worry if your screen is black, because now what we're going to do is go up to the File tab at the top of this window, left click on it, and then left click on Run New Task. Now you want to type in Explorer.exe. You don't necessarily need the .exe part of the end, but I'm just going to type that in here, just so you guys are aware of what we're doing. And then I'm going to click on OK it should restart the explorer process and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.